Mm, right. Okay. Um, so this is Blizzard World first. Uh, what are you running? Double shield. Ash May. Interesting. Uh, Bap. Zen. Okay, this is this is this is really viable here. This is like a really good tactic. I know you guys are off angling as well straight away, which is really really good. Um, interested to see how you make the May work. I don't know if you guys expected something, but uh, Babsen are in the uh, play at the back. Very, very good. Cool, let's see how this rolls out. Okay, so they're running a oh, standard meta brawl comp. Uh, our fangling's really, really good, because straight away, your Ash is a quarter to a roll. Um, just only issues they're playing a brawl comp, so when they take the high ground, you need to give it up. So I really hope you don't get caught out. No, you both drop, that's fine. Um, yeah, especially if you're alone, like 2v6 two, two or whatever, you just cannot take fights in this comp. Um, yeah, just get away from it back up. Uh, playing on the point, the beauty of this point is there literally is two ways in. I mean, with three ways, technically, if you can't wrap them around the back, but you can easily scout that. Um, they're either going to push here, or they're going to push here. Um, the beauty of two shields is you can watch both sides. So ideally, you want to see both both your tanks pretty much taking a side. You take a DPS and a support with you, and you just 3-3. Three, three. Like, if you get hard pushed, you can just literally rotate around to the other side. Why are you so angry? Yeah, you go, yeah, you, okay. So this is what I... This is what I just explained. Let me get a better view on it. Um, you guys are like what's called shield stacking right now. You're just putting shield in front of shield. Which is like fine. You, you're blocking one line of fire. But uh, you look at their team. They're not exactly got a strong fire rate. Like they have Sombra's behind you. You should know that straight away. Um, otherwise, the only thing shooting at you there is Reaper, Diva, Lucio. Yeah, probably not Banana. Yeah, so they have three... These three shooting at you, and all three of them are close range. Maybe with the exception of Lucio, but he doesn't do enough damage to worry you. Um, are all really, really, really close range characters. So they're going to do you literally no damage here. Like, they shoot you from here, they're doing nothing. So, ideally, I'd like to see... Where's your Ash? Uh, oh, your Ash is here, so I mean you're all stacked. I'd like to see like, just Calvin rotate all the way back here. Take his Ash, and look at that right there. You get a free... A free firing line. You can even take like Zen or Bap with you. So if I take your Zen and then just like bang, 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 bang. You get this angle here. So while they're trying to fire on you, you just fire back on them. Because like their squishies are open. Because it forces them to do like one of three things. It forces them to bugger off here with their Rhiners and play in this room. Which means they're even going to drop down and rotate all the way around. Which is fine because you guys can scout that and set up easily. Um, they're either going to back up all the way back down there, which is fine because that buys you guys time. Or they're forced to drop and take a fight pretty much with no shield, discorded, half health, etc, etc. So, like, off angling, especially on this map, is really, really, really good. Just make sure you're doing, like, make sure it is your Sigma as well. Like, don't just go Ash and Zen on their own over here. Like, make sure a tank is with you. Like, work in threes, two pods of threes. You can leave, like, Arissa, May, and Bap main. So, for instance, if they decide to amp and, like, speed into your Arissa, she can just fortify, you know, make and wall people off. Bap has lamp. Like, you won't die. And by that time, hopefully, you've called. And then, like, the, the three that are over here just rotate back and can help. It's really, really effective. Um, you guys just have to make sure you comment really, really well. Uh, it's kind of on... Uh... It's like, Calvin should be doing it anyway. Like, you're off tank, like, in double shield. Your Sigma should always be looking to just flank, basically. Um, but it could be up to the DPS to be like, can we go on an angle, etc. Even on the supports, like, I used to as BAP, just literally be like, drag Zara off over here and just be like, Zara, we're going to off angle, let's go. It does, man. It makes, it make like, it forces them from a really good position of where they can control the fight to a point where, like, oh, shit, we got to do something. Because otherwise, she's going to get the mech, the shield's going to go down etc etc um but you guys just stack shields and play all clumped on a point which is a little bit less than ideal Smoke out of there. 
See, same again. They're just waiting here. They're waiting for shields. They're waiting for. They're probably trying to farm him. Okay, they're not farming MP. They're nowhere near it. But this is at this point. Your Ash comes over here. Big dynamite. Boom. Ah. Uh, okay. You start to do it now. Like it's okay. Up here is fine on your own. Like the they've basically rotated already though at the moment. So you've missed your opportunity. Only issue with this, you are so far away from your team. Their diva decides he wants to just zoom at you, you kind of never gonna win that fight. So this is why I say you always take to go in twos, like even threes ideally, but uh, so it's fine to stack shields here, because you know they're you know they're committed to a push. Like when you can see all of them pushing into you, it's fine to stack shields. But when they're not committed, don't stack shields. Uh, this is fine. You guys rotate well. Don't ever play. Don't let that Ryan get on top of you. That's what they want to get the Ryan and the Reaper and the Diva on top of you. Keep rotating. Keep rotating. How did your Zen die? Oh, your Zen got. Where was your Zen? Where was your Zen? Was your Zen up here? Why can't I not see your Zen? I presume your there's a spray. I presume your Zen was up here somewhere. Uh, actually, let me just confirm it. Yeah, I presume your Zen was just out of position a little bit. I don't know, it could be wrong, but what is Agro Moira doing? Gets booped, gets one. Oh, okay. Mm, yeah, a little bit. He kind of got booped out of position. Um. Like, if you see a push happening here, just think about pathing. Like, you try and get across here safely, which is fine if your tanks are willing to stay in the fight and thingy for you, but your tank's, like, disengaged, like, ASAP. So, maybe a better pathing is just slowly creep upstairs, come up here, and then drop down this side. Um, but you got booped as well. It's a pretty good boop. A good focus fire, so... Um... I don't know. Zen, uh, it's quite big losing your Zen because Zen does so much damage. I kind of, I was, I was like a bit weird with the May pick, but you guys made the May pick work really, really well. Um, you're not rushing it down, but you're just kind of using it to disrupt, which is really, really good. Um, other picks here that are really good are like Torb is really strong at this point. Like on this point and in this comp. Because you can leave, you can just leave his turret on an angle and it uh, it just will do its own thing. You know, they have to prioritize shooting a turret. Um, it can like d sort of, not disarm the Sombra, but it can like disrupt the Sombra, that's the word. Um, like make her just think about where she pops up, etc. Um, and also they, can, they push into Torb just like overloading. It's just not going to go well. It's more shield break as well. Etc. Etc. Um, mate, you guys—if you guys are comfortable on the may, mate, the may work. I know Achieve is not your usual DPS player. Neither is Hero Brain. So uh, you have a team of supports, lol. Uh, but yeah, maybe Torb. You you'd probably get away with like a—I don't know, like a McCree, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, may works for you. If you get, may works for you guys, and you enjoy it, and you understand how to play it. Play it, but. Uh, this TP up here. Yeah, this is what I mean by staying on the angle too long. You know, you get isolated. Your team can't get to you. Boosh. But then again, like, not gonna be too harsh. You guys are not DPS players. This was like quiet or serpent or something. I'd be a lot more pissed off. But yeah, just as, if you're staying on an angle, just make sure you have. Oh, your Zen died. That's why I was saying. Make sure you have Orb or something because Husey is the only one that can heal you. His AOE won't reach you there. Like, it's a pretty. Uh, it's not a tough shot, but it's a more difficult shot. Uh, Calvin really 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 good off angling here. This is perfect. You just like stay on this angle here Because then their Anna has to either press up all the way or press all the way back. She can't stand in the middle How their Sombra only has 40% I will never know That Lucio's into it. Okay, kill this thank god. Like a Ryan. That Ryan should die. Good four or five pancake. Kill that Ryan, please. Oh my days. What happened to your support line? 
You guys just got abolished by a reaper. Who is over here? How is he? Okay, that Ryan should have died so much quicker. He got nanoed, I know, but like, like that Ryan should die quickly. Uh... Okay, so game not me. game sense time. Uh, tanks, well done for backing off. Like you can give ticks here, like by women by giving ticks is let it rack up to. I don't know, like 80, 90. Hopefully by then you're kind of all regrouped and then you guys can go back in and try and push to hold the point. But by like jumping in here, like your, your maze is not going to be back. So the point's pretty much lost here. If you guys stay straight away, just give ticks and we can come back in. That's totally fine. But uh, Uchida jumping in has made that a little hard for you. But then again, not a DPS player. Um, let's see if here bring it out. Okay, so you don't come back in. That's totally fine. Um, Stop the payload. So, two key, two key points from that one. Off angling, you know, as twos, as threes. Like, uh, this is just in double shield comp. Like, the best, best way to get value is off angling. So, make sure you do that. And then just supports and DPS, just positioning. Think about where you are. If you're alone on an angle and they have characters like Reaper, Diva, Sombra that can quickly move around to different positions like just make sure you have a way out <laughs> like yeah you know, make sure it's easy for you to drop into your team or you can coach gun out because if you leave yourself liable you can pretty much throw the fight um supports make sure your path things better like you have this whole bit up here just just chill up here if you need to if something comes up you can drop etc but um just think about pathing and rotations etc but that's that's not a bad first point you managed to like get I think two minutes off the clock. Um, you got nano out of them. You didn't use anything yourself. You're coming up. You have three. You're coming up on three more. Um, let's see how you play this. Mm, okay. Uh, not a fan of this at all. Um, you guys have a comp that likes to keep people at arm's length, okay? This is not, this is not like, it's not like a brawl comp. It's more of a, it's more of like a spam comp, isn't it? Like, it's a double shield spam. Like, you're relying on your Zen to throw out damage, your Bap to throw out damage, um, and your Ash to throw out damage, really. Uh, your Maze there simply for disruption, like, so she can just wall off their Ryan if he gets too aggressive, can keep the Diva at arm's length, etc. Um, and your tanks are obviously your space takers and your shielders and your angle takers. Um, by playing low ground into this comp, you are doing exactly what they want. And that is letting them hold W mouse 1 or fucking, what is it? Right joystick R2 and just run over you. That's what they want to do. Um, even with the May, like, especially on this point, your May is not going to be able to wall all this off. Like, they will just either come through there, they will come high, they will just run through mid. Um, their Reaper's already there. Uh, and they will just pincer in on you. Like, you will... I mean, I'm not sure if you win this fight or not. I'm probably about to eat my words, because you guys always seem to pull these fights out your ass, and I don't know how. But, um... Ideally, you guys should be straight away be trying to take these high grounds. Like, either here, here, etc. Because then if they walk low ground, there is no way they can reach you. And you guys can spam them out. The only way they get somewhere is if they come and take the high ground off you. But by the time they rotate all the way up there, you, they're going to have to walk from cannon to you in this line of fire. And you're just going to spam them out. Honest to God. Or they're going to have to use ultimates to get you off. In which case, it's a win-win. So, especially when this, like, in this comp... If they're running, like, a double shield comp of their own, this would be fine. Because you guys have equal spam. But they're, they're trying to rush you down. That's the whole point of this comp. So, by putting them on high ground, you just make it that like, little bit harder for them to get on top of you and to do their thing. But, uh, let's watch you clutch it from the low ground. You have ults, by the way, so I want to see you use these. You literally will have six online by the time this fight starts. Um, if you use more than three, I swear to God. Here 
universal sink for my <sighs> Calvin, 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 Calvin. You know they have a Sombra. You know she's going to be lurking somewhere near your team invisible. Just just scout her. Like, I know it's like it's weird and sometimes you forget you can be disrupted at 6 ult. But just scout for her first. Like, just Even if you make her translocate out and then you get that 5 second window to use it, just do that because it... Uh, like, her one hack is just shut down like a really, really strong ultimate. Um, to be fair, you got beat out for it. So, mm, it's not the end of the world. But now they realize you're hacked out of it. So, now they can get aggressive with beat. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's not like a massive issue. Just just like, just try and make sure you scout before you use stuff. Same with, like, mail. You can get hacked out of mail. Um, that's about it, I think, for your team. But, yeah, just make sure you're scouting that Sombra the whole time. Like, I know it's not D.Va and it's hard, hard to spy check. But just always... Even like Zen, Bap, Ash, just keep spamming, just spy check her. If you just fire down an obvious lane, she can't go down, you might... You know, she spends 10 seconds going another direction, that's 10 seconds she's not charging EMP. Like... Oh, you guys are split. This is what I mean by playing low ground, you guys are split as well. Um... Okay, you chased the Sombra. Which is fine, but think about like where where you like where you are now. You guys are isolated away with a diva. The diva's got you there. Your team are miles away. Like you both should probably die here if that diva has any sense. Okay, you ult to get yourselves out of it, fair enough. Um eh, I'm not gonna take back what I said. Um don't Put yourselves in positions. You guys play as a unit. You know, like, if you're going to off... That's not really off-angling. That's just chasing a kill. Um, fair enough, you got out of it because you were trans and you blizzard and used your ults and got out. But if you didn't have your ults there, you know, their, their diva's probably just going to commit to it, etc. So just be careful when you're chasing kills, especially as then. Like, the maze kind of fine. The maze can wall off and freeze and whatever. But especially as then, just be be careful. Because you are really susceptible to pretty much everything in their comp. Uh, it's still split though. The trans is coming in. Hopefully the trans saves people. Yeah, okay. So, a big trans though, to be fair. Um, good to use two. Use two, to be fair, for beat, shatter. So, you traded three for two. This is another time you guys can just rotate high. Again, you should be saying now, like, okay, let's just take high grounds quickly. How has she not got one EMP yet, though? Jesus. Lamp. Lamp. Oh, man lamped himself and still died. Uh, yikes, Kai! Yikes! Just unlucky, I guess. Like just lamp placement. I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's nothing really you can coach about. That's just lamp placement. Just make sure you're covering. You can hide lamp, by the way. Okay, the lamp didn't break, but you can hide lamp behind stuff, and it still gets its area of effect. So maybe think about that. But you drop window. Window's a bit too far as well. Like you know they're gonna right. You know they have speed. When a window drops, one of two things happens. You either say, we're going to disengage straight away and get out, or you're going to go through it. And, like, they, they nano the Rhine, they're always going to come through that. So just just literally drop it at your toes. Put it in a spot where they cannot rush through it. Because even if they, they, they disengage here and drop back, that window's giving you, like, 20 seconds of time to, like, set up or whatever. But um, if they rush through it, it's literally useless. So maybe just, just drop it at your toes if need be. Like, it, I know you want to try and put it in line of sight for, like, your Arissa, your Ash, etc. But if you know they're going to rush through it, just put it... Just tell your Ash to play next to you or something. Nice, you guys are getting rolled. All they use is Nano. Okay, reset, reset. Uh, 
And now you guys are walking into EMP Blossom. Um, I guarantee this is going to be an EMP Blossom fight straight away. You can negate EMP Blossom by playing <laughs> High Ground. If you get EMP'd on the high ground, literally two things can follow up. Reaper and Diva. Ryan can't reach you. Anna can't reach you. Lucio, I mean, can reach you, but he, by the time he all rides up there, he's, it's got to be done. Um, the Sombra, if she TP'd up there to begin with, but she's probably going to TP out when she EMPs. So, high ground. High ground, good. Especially second point Blizzard World. All this high ground, very, very good. Like, you guys need to start prioritizing that. Because it just, like, it just takes away so many win conditions from this comp. Their comp. Like, it's... I can't say it enough. Cease your resistance. Big bongo. There it is. And there it is. <laughs> Red like a book. Um, EMP Blossom, no support holds. Pretty much going to win every fight up and down the tier spectrum, you know. Um, uh, but at the same time, that's fine. Like, you guys... What did you guys throw in, Bob? You try to bob for EMP Blossom. They have nothing now. Uh, neither do you, really. But, like, it's, it's an even fight now. Like, if you'd lost that with them still holding on to EMP, I'd be more worried. So, at least you got EMP out of them. Like, that's all you got to say. You guys just need to die now. Because, like, the whole point is, the point is just staggering in. Like, you guys just need to die. Going right, you get you guys literally. So, Hero Brain and Warrior, you guys should just literally just die on cart, just run onto the cart and die because you're just gonna get staggered out now. Staggered out, ah, uh, yeah, there. See, if you died just like 20 seconds earlier, like you'd all have good spawns, you'd all be back here now, ready to fight, but now they've got to wait for your Zen. Um. It just goes back to a little bit more game sense again. Just, like... This can probably come from your cooler. So, Punk this should probably be on you a little bit. It's just tell them to die. Like, as soon as, like, four of you get wiped by that blossom, just be like, die. Die on card. Die. No ults. Die. Die, 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 die. Just get, like... Dying isn't a bad thing. Dying can be really, really valuable in Overwatch. Like, if you die at the right time. Because if you're all back as a six now, they don't have any presence on you. They can't push into you. Because it's an even fight. But if they're like... Now they know it's a 5v6 and they have no Zen, no Discord, they're probably going to get quite aggressive if they have any sense. Um, but that's just how it goes. Um, Comp-wise, so I've been saying all game prioritize high grounds. There's really not any high grounds you can prioritize here with double shield. Like, there's here, which isn't really a good spot for a team to set up. And there's here... Which also is not a massively good spot for people to set up. So ideally, third point is usually just a brawl comp. I'd probably almost match them. Like, straight out. Um, I know you guys have... You probably keep the Zen for the trans. But apart from that, you guys should probably just match them. Literally, like, hero for hero. Straight up. If you want to run the Zarya, maybe. Or if you want to run, like, McCree instead of Sombra or something. I don't know. But... Probably the Rhine, the Rhine, Lucio, Anna, Reaper, I'd straight up would, just because it's so, it's so easy to brawl in this point. You just hold a corner and then you just brawl on each other, like it's, it's hard for Double Shield to get set up here, because they can just run you over. Like, you guys can kite back here and play this corner, or kite forward and play this corner, or play in there, etc. But, ultimately, the Sombra's just going to get an angle, the Reaper's already up there on an angle, um, and you guys are just going to get, you know, run over at some point, so... Third point Blizzard World, I'd probably say you should just, just swap for all. Like, it doesn't really matter what you're on. I know you're coming up on ults. That's probably why you're going to try and fight this. But it's pretty much one of those points in the game where you just have to brawl. Like, there's nothing else to it. Uh, but double shield is really, really fine for the first two points. If you, if you value high ground. Big shield, Mr. Calvin. Big, big shield. Well done. Um, trans coming in early. Really, really good as well. 
Like, I think it was, was it forced? I think it was forced. Um, even if, like, it's fine to, get, like, have your trans forced. That's not a bad play. Like, it's not like, oh, forced trans, we're throwing here. You guys just need to react really, really quickly now. So you need to use your trans as a, an aggressive, aggressive ult. So you should be, see this trans now? You should just be pushing in now, just trying to run over this Ryan as much as you can. So, just no follow up. You, yeah, that's what I mean. You don't get aggressive with the trans. You, I think you got hacked out of that. I don't know if the damage went through. Um, but even so, you guys, uh, look where you are and look where they are. Like, it's fine. They can get dropped on their heads there. That's fine because they're all there. The healers are there. They're going to heal up. Like, it's... You need to follow up more if you're going to do this. Because the moment you just use two ults for nothing. They've got two, two ults out of you for free. Like, they blew their own shatter, but they've got that out of you for free. And that's fine for them because they're on the front foot. So, if you guys are going to get transforced and you guys are, like, that's a thing, you're going to say, okay, I'm not going to die here. I'm going to use my trans. You need to call it really, really loud, Agrimoria, and just be like, we're going to get aggressive. Like, kind of just take over comms there. Be like, okay, get aggressive. And then you guys need to all in. Like, your tanks need to, because with trans, your tanks can just feed. I mean, they have anti, sure, but you have two shields at the same time, so they shouldn't be hitting an anti. Um, this Reaper as well, all game, right, has been on the flank. Like, Sombra's been crap. She's look, she's in her team now because she's low, etc. She's been a, this Reaper's been quite good. All he does is take angles. Like our DPS haven't really done the best job of like looking after our supports. All he does is want to just TP up top, walk around, you know, assassinate our Zen and like wraith out. You guys need to. If this happens in games and you find a certain DPS is doing something the same every time, you just need to like man mark him essentially. So maybe if Uchido here, a brain, one of you just says, okay. I'm going to watch for the Reaper. It's probably more likely you're Ash because he's going to win the fight better. Um, and you just, as you said, this is a really good position. You just sit up here and you just, with your Zen, and you essentially babysit your Zen. So if he tries to make a move on your Zen here, you're just going to force him out. Because all you need to do is literally headshot him once and he'll wraith out. Like, he, just, he especially with the Zen, he just can't take a 2v1 against you because you do so much damage. Um... But even the same with Mei, like even if he gets up close, you just, just start freezing him, he'll Wraith out. As soon as you force Wraith, you've won the fight against Reaper. Because if he comes out of it to fight you, he's an idiot. <laughs> Straight up. He should, like, that's their, it's the same as Fade, Moira Fade. Like as soon as they use their Fade, they should die. If they don't get out. But um, yeah, this is more of like just a DPS thing on your right guy's own. You have to think how, how you can, this is DPS peeling, basically. Like how you guys can help out your supports. Especially your Zen, because your Zen's had a really hard time all game. Uh, QC's been fine. Bat pretty much looks after himself with Lamp and AoE and stuff. So, But yeah, just make sure you're prioritizing. Because this guy is pretty much doing all the work, in my opinion. Like, I haven't seen much from the tanks. Just this Reaper gets in your back line, gets a kill, and gets rolling. But apart from that, no. Just make sure we're getting more aggressive when stuff comes through. But now you guys get aggressive. Anna's there. Please kill that Anna. Please kill that Anna. Please kill the Anna. Please kill the Anna. Please kill the Anna. Oh my god, the Anna got out. Okay, that's criminal. The Anna should never get out there. Like she's literally standing here by herself. You guys, you guys need to make sure. Need to make sure you're prioritizing. Uh, you guys are feeding. Positioning wise, um, think about where you don't want to get caught out by a brawl comp. It's a really, really small room. <laughs> like, you guys want to fight in the open where you have really good sight lines for your Zen, your Ash, your Bap, etc. In here, even with the May, like your May walls up, but that, that's a crap May wall, so they're just going to walk through you here. Um, like, you guys are in real danger here. Like, all four of you. You just need to just back out this room immediately. But like back up, back up, back up. Yeah, so, so I mean, your Zen, like, you all try to back up. Your Zen pushes in, your Zen gets caught out. Like, so I mean, just back up. Um. Bomb comes in. Bomb gets another one, and now you got you guys are literally four v six through one ult, and you guys just taking a fight in a really bad position. Uh, 
Okay, I don't know if that's on Uchida using it and being not calling it, or... Oh yeah, this is just a mix of communication between Punk Cake and Uchida. You guys need to be on the same page. If you're gonna ult this, you guys need to hold here and push into it and get, like, follow up on it. Or you just don't use it and you kite all the way back. So, either Uchida didn't get the message, <laughs> or Punk Cake didn't tell the message very well. But, everyone else seems to be backing off, so... I don't know. Like this is this is kind of just a waste of ult because you, you guys are in no position to follow up here. Yeah, the Ryan gets in front of you, which is annoying because they have two frozen. But then she dies, so now it's a three versus six. You guys have to give all this space up, like literally all this space. You have to come all the way back. Okay, you get your ults to bail you out, which is fine. Um, like, what are they now? So you might win this fight, but even so, look how much space they've made, like they've taken. They was like their cart was on that corner, and now it's all the way on this corner, just cause they used bomb. Um, you guys used Blizzard as well, so they traded ultimates. So there's a one for one fight, and they got all that space. Like if they're gonna take that space and make them use three or four ults. Like if you guys just got like completely ulted out of that fight, like you got EMP, you got bomb, you got uh, shattered, you got nano used, etc. Like, that's fine. You got four ults, but like, you didn't get anything from that fight. You, uh, you just soft through basically as a team. Like, uh, three or four of you made some silly choices, and this is probably what's going to cost you the map because it's quite easy to finish from here. You get out of the way. Same with window placement again, Kai. Like, look where you've put it, and look where you are now, and look where they are now. Look, one, two, three. They just push through the window. Just drop it, your toes. And then they can't push through it. Like, I think that's just a... I think you, you need to work on, bro. Um, like, it's not the biggest thing going wrong, but that's two windows now. I think you've only had two or three all map, and they've got no value at all. This is, like, one of the strongest ults in the game in terms of just, like... If you set it up properly, you can just heal and damage through it for days. Um... Don't worry about being like, oh, can everyone shoot through my window? Like, even if it's just you, you do enough damage on your own to warrant just solo windowing, as I call it. Like, um, but yeah, just just have a think about your windows when you drop them. You guys, clutch this. You guys should win this. You have spawns. You should play for spawns. Yeah, okay. You play for spawns. Well done. Um, and now you swap to... Now you swap to Torb. <laughs> okay. Kill the Ana. Be careful. Please be careful. You're anti and You faded into a fight. Fading into a fight. Ugh. Please don't ever do it. It's the Husey special. You guys will get away with it at this level, but if you start playing, like, tier 3, you know, scrimming tier 4, you're gonna, like, as soon as they see that, you will die immediately. Uh, Ults-wise, you guys should know, you should be ult-tracking straight away. You know they haven't used it. They have literally had two, two EMPs, I think, all game. Or three, maybe. Two or three. All game. Like, that's terrible from their Sombra. You should know she has it by now. And you should know they have Blossom as well. So they're just going to run that combo at you. You guys have nothing to counter it. So you need a really, really good lamp. Or stun them out of it. I don't know. It goes back to that last fight. Where you gave that space, the only way to retake that fight was to use... What did you use? Like, uh, Bob... Window. Changed off then. Yeah, you used two. You used, yeah, you used two. So you had to use the two ults, or three, you even used Flux as well. So you had to use three ults to stabilize the fight. All they used was Nano. And maybe Bomb. No, they used Bomb previous fight. Yeah, all they used was Nano. So they... You won the fight, but you used three ults. They used one, and now they're coming back in with three of their own. And all you have is Bongo. So unless you Bongo really, really early here and try and get some value, like, I don't think you're winning this one, guys. Your 
Good bongo. Really good bongo placement. Well done, Mr. Kick. There it is. There it is. There it is. The beauty of ultimates. They know they have one fight and that's all they need to win. So it's a rough one, fellas. It's a rough one. Uh, did you get impede, Kai? Were you safe? If so, that's a really late lamp. Like, really, really, really late. This is me just being picky because I know you're a good player. And, like, you know, Bap is one of the heroes that I think I'm really good at. But that's a really late lamp if you're not EMP'd. Like, you need to... Like, a really good job... And pretty... Actually, let me go back and look. We'll just look at your POV. Um... This is really good positioning, Kite. Like, really, really good. Like, you're uncontested. The only thing that's getting you here is a Sombra, but she's looking at EMP. Um, I presume you know they have EMP, hence why you're trying to kite it. You see, really good angle, really good angle. Oh, okay, you do get hacked. That's my bad. Okay, you do get hacked. Ignore everything I just said. <laughs> I thought you didn't get hacked. Um... Okay, we'll change that. Instead of instead of like late lamp and not like did you get hacked or not, just play this that little bit further back. Like your drop off, you don't really do you have drop off? I'm pretty sure Bat does have drop off. But like it's not it's not gonna be that much through here. Even if you just play like five meters back here, you're out of the MP radius. And then you save yourself. But um Yeah, don't worry about late lamp, ignore that part. Uh <laughs> Hmm. Right, okay. Um, summarize round one. You... Positioning from some people... Not everyone. I think your tanks are fine, but DPS and support, your positioning has been questionable. Um, really, really think about that in a game, because that's how easily it costs you fights. You saw the... The penultimate fight of this third point, you guys like got caught out in that small room. You pretty much lost the fight without them having to use ult. You traded one for one on ult. So that's really, really bad for a defending team. Um, number two, you guys don't prioritize high grounds enough at all. Especially on Blizzard World. It's a high ground map. Take high ground. Like you have a comp to hold high ground really, really well. Like if they're going to come clear you off, make sure they're using ultimates, abilities, co like cooldowns, etc. That you want to use a lot. You want to use all of Rhine Shield, all of the Matrix, you know, like all of Moira Juice, etc. Just to come and get to you. Because then that way, when you take a neutral fight, you guys are going to have more resources than they are. Um, third point, ult usage has been really good, to be fair. You guys have really good ult usage. Like, you rotate really well. You had six at the when you lost first point, and you used, like, three, then you used two, then you used one, etc. That was really, really good. Um, uh, yeah, you just... Um, you learn that Reaper get away with too much, but we talked about that. DPS, have a look at that bit of the, the VOD and where I say about that. And then... I think predictability. You guys know all they want to do is, like, EMP Death Blossom, so... Like, as I said to Kai there, just wise up to it and just be like, if you, like, ult track a lot and be like, as soon as you realize they're near to both, just go and hide. Like, you can do it with, like, when you were playing Zen, you can do it with Zen as well. Just if Zen has trans, just go hide. Like, it doesn't matter. Because as soon as you get TMP'd and just join Zen with trans, you negate everything they do. So, just be a bit more savvy to that support. You guys should be ult tracking anyway or have a good idea of what they're doing. So, please, please, please. Be a little more smart with that. Because the only reason they're winning these fights is you make silly mistakes or they EMP Death Blossom you. Like, they're not beating you in the neutral. They're not outplaying you. They're just building ults and using them. Uh, apart from that, no, guys are really good. I think you have a good grasp on double shield. That comp can really work here. As I say, maybe instead of the May, play the Torb or something. Because then uh, a Torb's a little more scary to the other DPS. And you do more shield break. But apart from that, you're really good. Let's have a look at defense. Attack, not defense. Use on defense. Score. Lol. Zero to three. Switching size. Mm. Clear. Monkey. Double shield again. Anna Moira double shield. They're playing double shield. They don't play double shield, Lucio, do they? God. Ready for 
Two, one. Attackers okay. What do, you, what do you guys walk out on? Um, dive that isn't dive. Um, okie dokie. What? Obviously, you can't see what they're playing. Uh, dive tanks. That's fine. Tracer. That's fine. Ash. That's fine. Anna is fine. Zen. Mm, okay, Zen, Zen Zen definitely works here. Um, maybe I don't know if you guys. Like obviously, I don't know your comms at the time. I don't know your theory planning behind this. Um, whether you just realise Uchida isn't a hit scan player and you don't want to all in on him, like with the mercies. If usually, like if for instance, if Quiet was playing, I'd definitely tell you to play a mercy and just pocket him, and then just take the space with the tanks and just all in on your Ash doing stuff. Like, obviously, with not a specialist Ash, I can kind of get that. So Zen does a bit more on his own and helps the team with Discord. So that's probably a... If that was your logic, good logic. If that wasn't your logic, feel free to use that excuse. Um, <laughs> apart from that, yeah, good comp. Look what you're playing into, though. Uh, you know, they're... This is kind of what I said. I said Torb. They've gone with Hanzo. Like, Hanzo can work. I just think Hanzo's really susceptible to being, like, dived on. Like, Torb can just pop overload and just not die to anything, so... Um, interested to see how you guys play this. Left side push really, really good. Always do that on Blizzard World. Because you're going to lose so much, like, ult charge to the other team if you walk main. Because that angle there is just stupid. <laughs> I hate that angle. It's literally the most bullshit angle in the game. Okay, straight away, your Tracer does not want to be there. Your Tracer wants to be all the way around here. I don't want to see your Tracer anywhere near your team, really. Unless you're pincering on something, you're peeling, or you're looking for healing. But even looking for healing, get a health pack. Like, you play like a wrecking ball here. You you just do not be near your team. You want to be occupying... Like, oh my god, I'm under the map. You want to be occupying this room down here, you know, the Mega. Like, poking here. Then you can blink. If you want to take the long way, you can blink all the way around here. Harass, harass, harass. You can come all the way up here. You can harass, harass. You can clear high grounds by yourself. Like, you shoot the hands he drops. He's playing in the team there. You can close high ground. You can come all the way around here. You know, you can blink all the way around here, etc. Like, you're going, like, going this way to start with, but they are playing this side. So, like, they would have, they will have seen you blink this way. Look, you can, you are in their line of sight. So there, Ash knows you're going that way. She has any sense. She turns. She throws dynamite. That's, uh, that's damage boosted. You die. Or you force recall. Which is winning the fight. Whereas if you go this way, nobody is looking at you. Trust, this is the longer route. But you're more hidden. Which is like really good for a tracer. Um, but where you're on a ball, that's where their attention is. So you kind of want to be away from their attention. Um, apart from that, same with your Ash. Like, there's no reason your Ash can't be up here. Looking to spam dynamites in. Uh, apart from that, yeah. Um, okay, so, like, Jericho? Okay, so, you, like, how do I explain this? Like, I'm not the greatest Trace player, but, player ever, but, you know, I have a good grasp on Sombra, and essentially, you just want to be poking at this point, Mr. Hero Brain. You just want to be poking, 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 drawing a little bit of attention, building that bomb. You don't want to be using, like, recall or anything until you need to. You know, you're not looking to fit. No one's low there. You're not looking to dive in and finish a kill. You're not going to be able to dive in, one clip something, and get out. Like, they just won't let you. Like, they've got too much healing. They've got too much tanks. You just want to be playing on the outskirts, poking different angles. Um, you want to go in like that when your team is ready to engage. Like, you... Your team is still rotating high ground, which is... It's actually an interesting spot. Um... I really like it because you're gonna leave, you're gonna leave your hit scan and your zen up here. Mm, I like that. Uh, but yeah, you just want to poke until your team's ready to go in. Like you kind of jump the gun there. So now you have got to wait like nine seconds, whatever, till your recall comes back. Uh, 
Okay, only bad thing about walking main up here is you guys don't have a shield. Like, the idea of it is really, really, really good. And, you know, you leave and the... Uh, Zen's there, Twa. On the high ground, and they can spam, 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 spam. Um, they have shields and you don't, essentially. This is why I tell the Tracer to take a different angle. Because they're going to stack shields here. And there's, your Ash is going to get no value. Your Bap's going to get no value. Your tank's going to jump in and die before anyone could shoot anything. Um, they have like two snipers. They have a Zen. They have a Bap. No, they have a Zen Bap. They have a Bap. Um, they're just going to spam up here until you guys can get through. So this is what I mean by angles. If you're going to do this, just play it with a Rhine. Play it with Rhine Lucio or something. Um... But yeah. So I mean, you guys get chunked far too early. Reset, just die here. Just die, Calvin. Okay, you can get out? Okay, you got out, fair play. Staggering again. This is more what I mean about off angling. They're stacking shields. They're doing... Look, they're, they're playing literally together. This is not how you play double shield defensively. Like, they're stacking together. They're playing all as a core. The, your tracer should be everywhere here, there, and everywhere harassing. Like, just... Uh, like, play a sombra or something if you want to do it even, like, more effectively. Um, yeah, they're all setting up in one spot and stacking shields. As soon as you see this, just take angles. Like, let your Ash take an angle. They don't have anything that can come and get you. The only thing that's going to kill you if you take an angle on Ash is their Ash. Who is pocketed, to be fair. But, you know, if you can take a blind angle and get, like, a, a jump shot on her Mercy. You know, you force out a cooldown, etc. You might force out Lamp. You might force out anything. But... Gotta help Calvin. Calvin's done really well there to get in and out with health. If he's gonna go that deep, you gotta go with him. Like, especially you, Pancake. If he goes that deep, you gotta go with him. You can't just stand there by point. If he, either if you guys are gonna drop and walk in, or you're gonna dive all the way in the back line. You need to be more coordinated there. You guys are, yeah, you guys usually are spot on with your coordination, so. Good take of okay. Yeah, we'll get we'll get to DPS dying in a minute. But really, really good job of taking high ground, you two. Like your you your guys' knowledge of what space to take and when to hold it and when to like is really really good. Like that's you guys are on the same page. I know, I know I just said you weren't, but you guys now you are. You've seen straight away. You guys within five seconds of are back on the same page, um, which is really really good. That's why you guys have a really really solid tank line. Uh, this map should die, hopefully. Uh, DPS. It's going back to it again. You guys are all taking the same angle. Like, supports, fine. They need to play here because they need this cover. Um, doink. Your Ash maybe can play here as well. But your Tracer, your Tracer should be, you know, around here. Waiting for the pinch. Your Tracer should be this side. And as soon as Calvin and Punkit go in, you should be in here harassing. Like, never never take the same angle as a Tracer. You you have so much mobility. You can just get on these flanks. And then as soon as they dive, while everyone's up here looking at Pancake and Calvin, you know, ding, 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 one shot on Hanzo. Mercy turns around. Oh, shit. She either goes to res or she flies away. You force Mercy back into your tanks, etc., etc. And the meantime, your Zen is firing in at the shields with your Ash, etc. This is, so this is like, this is not a bad position. This is not a bad spot you guys are in. Um, the, your Ash died out in the open. Just hug these corners. Like, just jiggle peek. Bang, bang. If you really want to come all the way around here, bang, bang. Be careful of pull. That's all i got to say. 
Um, same with the Zen, just firing lines. Um, but yeah, as I say, if you get the clip on the Hanzo, you force the Mercy in. Your tanks are here. Your tanks just drop off the high ground now, but you've lost both DPS, so... Run, Calvin, run. Run, Calvin, run. <laughs> okay, you got out, good lad. Um, I mean, you got flux out of them for nothing. And you're onto the Zarya. Um, the Zarya can work. We still got no pulse bomb yet, either. Like, this is not me. Oh, I know Hero Brain is not a tracer. And, like, please don't think I'm attacking you here at all. I'm just saying, like, the way... Um, like, the way tracer works in this comp, you need to be way more I don't want to say aggressive but just anger just, I don't know what the verb is for ankle taking but taking angles <laughs> like just waiting to pinch like you know in backline etc if you run straight at someone you're easy to kill you're 150 HP you get one shot by everything in the game like just take angles etc um, and as I say I know you're not a tracer player or a DPS player and you're filling and you do really well filling but just like this is advice to take on to like people like you know serpent jade etc like who aren't here you can look at this vod and see you know how they should be playing tracer in this comp and against this comp uh on to zarya now it's fine i don't against double shield i'd probably stay with the diva personally like it's zarya's shield break is not as good as divas in terms of like missiles and shotguns and just being able to hold down fire etc um it kind of limits Calvin's ability now. Like when, like I said just then, when you guys were on the back of that point together, like you're in a really good spot. Now it's just going to be Calvin alone. Yes, he has a bubble to get him in, but I don't know. I, th I fancy if you're going to play this comp, I'd fancy the Diva personally, especially into double shield. But uh, you guys have Nano, you have Primal, you must have Bomb, etc., etc. Um, you are playing into four, but we'll see how it goes. split we are very 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 split e we're jumping in with nano and one two three are nowhere near the fight zen is zoned out because of the what you call it uh dragons uh pumpkin's on an angle which is good but you're not okay you got a bit of charge um but just trying to do damage and shield stuff <laughs> Let your nano run down, Calvin, before you primal. Like, just like a little bit. That's just a nitpick thing, but like you have a damage reduction on nano. Just let it, let it do its thing. Nice. guys win this okay you guys you guys win this by lumping four ults and pressing triangle before they could which usually i'd be like use four ults take a point what are you doing but they you know didn't get a chance to use bob or uh window which is good so you guys press triangle first just be careful when you're like pushing like that you were really split uh he had primal so he got out of it but Maybe just take that second to coordinate a little bit better. I'd be like, okay, I'm going in. Is everyone set up? Blah, blah, blah. Apart from that, yeah. Really good. Press triangle first. Well done. <laughs> you are now playing into a, a bit of a deficit, though. So, um, let's see if you guys stay on this first. Oh, 
Oh, look, these guys don't want to take high ground either. That, okay, this is good for you. You guys literally have comps that can take high ground. You have a monkey. Um, walk high ground. Walk high ground. Leave. Leave your hit scan on the car. Don't oh, don't leave your Zen alone on the car ever. Leave your hit scan. Leave your Ash on the car alone. At least your Ash can coach gun away and shoot stuff. Your Zen. If they, uh, I don't know, if this gets around the corner, I mean, they've done they have somewhere or anything, so I suppose in this situation it's fine, but please don't ever leave Zen alone. He's the most fragile thing in existence. You keep your Zen with you. Just leave, leave your Ash. Just, like, she can defend herself. Like, Zen can't really. He's squishy as anything. And it's a huge hitbox. See, this is what I mean. Like, he, <laughs> your Zen's now getting pushed. I don't know why their Sigma backed out there. Their Sigma wins that fight. He just uses Grasp. And then it's... Okay. Whatever. I'm not really sure what went wrong that fight. Like, I... Guys, just semi-fed. I'm, I'm really, I'm really not sure. But the the outcome of it is, you got no ults out of them, and now you're walking into three. You know, you have one, maybe two of your own. Good bob engage. I really like bob engages. Like especially that one was really, really good. Really good positioning. Uh, pulse bomb gets lamp. That's fine. That's lamp is pretty much an ult anyway. So uh, you got the Hanzo. Look at the space you've taken as well by ulting. So you guys now need to not overextend, not chase these kills massively. But you guys can push up here. You can hold this corner. You know, let the payload come round, etc. Yeah, Cal Calvin's spot on. Calvin's got exactly the right idea there. You Pancake, you want to be up with him. Okay, you're dealing with Bob in the back, but... So yeah, Ash headshot him four times. It's fine. Um... Oh my days, Calvin. Oh my days. Okay, you got out. I literally just praised you for really good, like, not overextending and holding that corner, and then you jump in there. Um, just hold that corner. Like, you can, like, pop your head in here. Like, if you need to get out, you can walk out the back. Like, you just hold this space. By being here, they're not going to walk in. Look, he's used Fortify already. So, by holding this spot as well. Like, if they push up here, they're in your sight lines. So, they're never going to push up higher than this when you have that space. So, just hold it. Just hold space. Be patient. I know it's hard. <laughs> and you want to, like, jump all over soft stuff. But just hold space. Because, uh, like, it allows you to take control of the map. You know, you have these high grounds now. You can send your Ash up here. You can send your Zen up here. By not being here and backing off now, you guys are offering them this space again. Like, there you go. There, Arissa's put her shield down. She's taken this spot. This is now Arissa's space. And now you can't play in the open. So your supports have to drop off around this corner. Um, where did your Ash die? I don't know where your Ash died, but... Okay, um, we go aggressive trap, we nano the trans. <laughs> oh dear. That's a bit of a shocker, lads. Don't nano the trans, I presume it was an accident. Okay, look how many ults you've had to use this fight and you've still not won it. Just because you guys didn't hold space. And you'll be like, oh no, there's other things. No, 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 literally the reason you had to use that ult is to take that space back. And this is what I'm noticing from you guys. You guys are using ults to like bail yourself out. You know what I mean? You're having to use ults... Um,